Hey everyone, this is Lomi, and today I'm putting together a pattern I recently released on my website, which is just a quick and fun little kitty hat for dolls. Sometimes it's nice to have a simple and fun project to work on just to clear your mind, and this is a nice thing to make with Halloween coming. I start by pinning the pieces together. I pin two of the main hat pieces together with right sides together. One pair of pieces will be the front, and one will be the back. Then I pin the ear pieces together with right sides together too. You'll probably want to use different colors for the inside and outside of the ear. I'm using white and pink, but the choice is up to you. Also, I'm using fleece, but if you don't have fleece or can't find it, you could use felt. These don't need a lot of pins to hold them together, and if you're a more experienced sewist, you might find you don't need to pin it at all. I start with the ears, sewing the top two edges of the triangle closed, leaving the bottom edge open. I backstitch at the beginning and end of the seam. I try to stay a quarter inch from the edge since that's the seam allowance built into the pattern, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Fleece is very forgiving. I clip the top of the triangle and turn the ears right side out. Then it's time to assemble the main part of the hat. I sew one curved side of the hat pieces together, so it makes kind of a half circle shape. As I said before, one of these pairs is the front, and the other is the back. Next I fold the ears and put them against the top edge of the back piece with right sides together. The back of the ear should rest against the hat's back. Make sure the shortest part of the ear is what's lined up against the curved edge. You'll see the corners sticking up past the curved edge, and that's okay. I fold my ears in by about a third, but you can do a quarter, half, or not fold them at all if that's what you like. Space the ears apart evenly from the seam in the middle. Then lay the front piece on top with right sides together again, lining the center seam up with the center seam in the back piece. Now we'll sew up around this curve to anchor the ears in place. Make sure you backstitch at the beginning and end of this seam too. When we flip it right side out, the ears will stand up. You can trim the extra fabric from the ears on the inside to ensure it'll fit well. Fleece and felt don't fray, so you don't need to finish the interior seams. Depending on how deep your doll's head is, and the style you want, you could finish by folding the bottom edge to the inside and sewing it in place, or you can finish with the band piece. Fold your band so the short ends are lined up with each other, then sew them together to create a ring the size of your hat. Fold the band in half lengthwise so the raw edges of the seam are turned to the inside. Then line this band up on the bottom edge of the hat with right sides together, and pin it in place. Sew the band onto the hat, but be careful not to poke yourself with the pins. Needless to say, I do that a lot. Clip all your threads, turn the hat right side out, and now you're ready to put it on whichever one of your dolls would be most embarrassed to wear it. This project only takes about 10 minutes, and it's also really easy to customize, so if there are other animal ear shapes you'd like to see added to this pattern, leave a comment below and I'll try to add the popular suggestions to a future pattern update. That's all for today though. Thanks for watching. Bye.